Hello students and viewers at home. You are welcome to St. Charles College on HR online lesson. My name is Mrs. Nkechi Nzegu from Cultural and Creative Arts Department. Topic is painting. Specific objectives are by the end of the lesson, the students should be able to one, define painting clearly two list and explain types of painting three mention the materials used for painting and the tools used for painting four draw and paint objects from observation five state five different systems of painting Definition Painting is the application of colors on a drawn object or onto a flat surface which form a picture. It is the process or the art of using paint. Painting is done with paint. Paint is also a substance applied to a surface in a liquid form to give it color. It is made up of pigments which gives us the color and a medium which dries fast on a hard or permanent surface. Pigments are from minerals, it can be also from plants and animals. A person whose job is painting of pictures or objects is known as a painter. Types of painting. We have about six types of painting. One, still life painting. Two, life or figure painting. Three, natural painting. Four, Imaginative painting, five. Seascape painting, six. Landscape painting. Let us explain them. First one is still life painting. This is a painting of non living things or inanimate objects or lifeless objects, something that is not alive, that doesn't have life in it. Example like stone, cars, houses, books, cups, lockers, laptops, etc. Two, life painting is the painting of human being only. Example, man, woman, girl, boys, and um, babies, you can even put it like uh, policemen, and robbers, um, reverend fathers, etc. etc. Then the third one is natural drawing, it is a painting of plants and animals only. Example trees, flowers, lion, fish, ants, snake, etc. etc. The first one is imaginative painting. It is a painting done from the memory without any observation. Anything you are thinking, anything that comes out from your brain is imaginative. So you can now say the example might be ceremonies, festivals, village scene, what happened in the village, maybe on holiday, you went to the village and your grandmother took you to a very big market in that your village. You can think of it when an auntie gives you an assignment, you think of it, you draw it, put them down. What you really saw there, that is imaginative painting. Then we call to number five, seascape painting. It's the painting of sea and its environment. Anything you see around the sea, is the environment. The environment can be a boat or a ship or trees far back. There are trees that are 
path can be an environment too. Even the sky is also the environment. But the most important thing is the water there. Example, river, lake, sea, ocean, beach, swimming pool, etc. We come to the final one, which is number six. Landscape painting. Is the painting of land and its environment only. Example, field, village square, church or school compounds. You can even put football field. That's why we wrote field. Football field where you play ball, basketball courts, provided the land is vast. It becomes a landscape painting. Let's go over to... These are the diagrams of those types of painting. These ones are not painted. You will see the difference between a non-painted object and a painted object. You can see the still life painting, which is a pot. You can see the imaginative painting, which is a market. The other one is life or figure painting, which is a boys playing ball. Then we have landscape painting. This is a very vast land. You can see a horse beside it. It's like a village. And the other side is a, a farm. Then you come to nature painting, which is a tree. And the other one is seascape painting, which is a river. The one that is painted. The same painting, the same drawing that is not painted, this one is a painted. See how beautiful colors are. Colors are beautiful, natural from God. Let's go. The materials and tools used in painting. One, brushes of all kinds or sizes. Example, you have round brush, flat brush, bristle, etc. etc. Two, easel. Three, drawing board and cartridge paper. Four, palette. Five, palette knife. Six, canvas. Seven, panel. Eight, fabric. Uses of materials and tools used in a painting. One, brushes of all kinds or sizes, both round and flat brushes are used for applying colors on the walk. Two, easel. It is used for resting the drawing board. Three, palette. It is used for mixing colors. Four, palette knife. It is used for applying colors. Five, paper, canvas, or board. These are all kinds of materials used in a painting you can wonder what a canvas is whether it's the one we wear no it is not it is the one we do our painting work it is more of flex or fabric six colors of all kinds both oil water wax colors are all used to color the drawn work. Diagrams of the materials and tools used in painting. If you look clearly, you will see them. You will see the palette. You see the chisel. Chisel can also be used, especially on the board you are working on. If you want to give the work 
rough edges, it will help you in creating warm bed. You can see the palette knife, the black um, board, the donkey, which looks like a bench with a neck. That neck is where the black the board are kept. Another diagram of the materials and tools used in painting. You can see the brushes, the flat brush and the round brush. You can see the palette, the palette knife, the drawing board being carried by the easel. The different system of painting. There are different system of painting which normally named according to medium like wax, egg, oil or water with which the pigments are mixed. One, encaustic. This is a method of painting used by the Greeks and Romans. They use wask mainly and they melt those wask until they become liquid. Then they mix it with powder pigment and apply it on a drawn work or picture while it is still hot. Two, tempera. This method was practiced in the Middle Age and was standard one of the best then. One of the best, the early part of Renaissance in Italy. The medium used in tempera painting is egg, especially the yolk. The yolk is mixed with the powdered pigments. You remember what we talk about pigments. The pigments are being gotten from either minerals or plants or animals. So these pigments are now mixed with the yolk and they are now being applied on a wood. Now, the third one is Frisco. This technique consists of painting done on a wall plaster. Most of the greatest painting of the Renaissance in Italy are Frisco. When the plaster dries, the painting becomes permanent. The painting becomes permanent. It becomes part of it. Now we go to number four which is oil painting. When oil painting started, is not known. But it came into gradual early oil painting where all on wood. They use wood in painting then. Then later in 16th century, the wood was widely replaced with canvas. Still on different system of painting. In pesto, at the time of oil painting is applied on a canvas or any other surface so that the texture could be felt when touched. You remember what a canvas is? Either a flex or a cloth. Which painting is being done on. Oil can be also be painted directly on the canvas. Now we go to watercolor. Watercolor was the last important method to be used. The color are mixed with water and paint, usually done on paper, but sometimes on fabric such as silk or on ivory. An ivory is a hard wood or bones. 
Aclari, this color first arrived in the Europe market in the year 1962 in a form called standard formula. Because of its consistency, it was used mainly for palette knife works. Palette knife are used in applying color directly on the work. This painting could be built up to achieve tremendous amount of relief works, which is in pesto, to, to make it rough and have textures. It dries faster than oil. Pesto, this method of painting with colored chalks derived its name from Italian word pistallo, which means a little paste. Pesto contains of ground up color mixed with gum, water, and a wasp. From this color, water, and um, wasp, you can get pencil crayon, or you can get this wasp that looks like candle, crayon that looks like a candle. They use it in coloring their works in pastel. Another heading is silhouettes. Silhouettes are shadow pictures generally portraits. They are painting of solid black. They can be made by placing the shifter in profile between the bright light and a wall. This means when they the, sh the shadow is being casted on the wall. It is being produced by you sitting down on a profile form. At your right hand will be the light. Then at your left hand will be the wall and your walking sheet. So when the light goes through you and it will cast a shadow at your left, it becomes a silhouette. This shadow falls sharply on a sheet of the paper on a wall. The shadow of the head is then outlined and filled in a white black. Silhouettes are known in England in the 19th century as shapes or profile. The word silhouette was gotten from a man called the Silhouette, finance minister of France, who was said to be so mean that he decorated his house with cut paper pictures because it cost him nothing. Silhouettes. Know that apart from portraits, Shapes of objects are included without revealing any other visual details. What do I mean by any other visual details? Like the eyes, the nose, the other wrinkles is not needed because it's going to be black throughout. You can see the shapes, the circle, triangle, stars, they are all on a black. Now, by the end of this lesson, we can be able to answer these questions correctly. One, define painting. Two, list four materials used in painting. Three, mention five tools used in painting. Four, name and explain the six types of painting. Five, State five different systems of painting. Six, explain silhouettes. Seven, paint objects from observation. You can now send your answers through my WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is 
070-3199-7377. Make sure you submit your assignment. Thank you.